Hi, my name is Rebecca, and I'm a first-year flutist with the orchestra now. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to correctly assemble and hold your flute. When taking your flute out of its case for assembling, it's very important not to grip the keys, the rods, or the lip plate as they are most susceptible to being bent and damaged. Grip the head joint from below the lip plate and the body from the barrel and twist on the head joint leaving about a fourth of an inch to a half inch out. This will change slightly based on intonation as you develop as a player. Line up the middle of the embouchure hole to the first key of your body, twisting until you find that alignment. Grip your foot joint from below the keys as not to damage them and twist onto the body lining up the rod of the foot joint to the center of the last key of the body. Now, how do we hold the flute? Rest your left thumb on the key that's on the underside of the flute that looks like this. You'll notice that there's two overlaying keys and you'll use both of them in time, but for now, rest your thumb on the longer key below the circle. Rest your left pointer finger on the smaller key the second small key from the top, skip one, and rest your following two fingers on the following two circular keys. Your left pinky should be able to touch the key hanging off the side. Rest the side of your pointer finger between the first and second joints on where it is blue on my flute. This will be your balancing point when your flute is up. For your right hand, rest your right pinky on the first key of the foot joint and your following three fingers on the following three circular keys. Allow your thumb to rest naturally below on its side. Now bring the flute to your face. Notice that my left hand palm is facing towards me while my right hand palm is facing away from me. To avoid pain and discomfort, I recommend turning your head to the left at about a 45 degree angle so that when the flute is up, the body of the flute is pointing at this 45 degree angle. This will avoid any kind of funky contortions of your shoulders. Also, do not extend your neck out to reach your flute, but rather bring the flute to you once you have good posture. Allow your elbows to be able to breathe naturally to allow your lungs to breathe and get the biggest breath it could possibly get. It's also important to note that your wrists on both hands should be staying straight. This is so that the weight of the flute does not fall to your wrist, but rather to your elbows, a larger joint that can handle that kind of stress. After your practice session to dissemble the flute, just like assembly, it's important to grip from points of no rods and keys. Clean out the flute, inner and outer, and then put it in your protective case.